You have to ask the question where was consciousness before it came into a body of an unborn child and what is consciousness? The origin and nature of consciousness is a philosophical and scientific question that has been debated for centuries and is still not fully understood. Consciousness is generally defined as the state of being aware of one's thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. However, there is no consensus on exactly what consciousness is, how it arises, and where it comes from. Some theories propose that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, while others suggest that it emerges from the complex interactions of neurons in the brain. There is also ongoing debate about the relationship between consciousness and the physical world, with some theories proposing that consciousness is a purely physical phenomenon, while others suggest that it may have a non-physical or spiritual component. Ultimately, the answer to these questions may require a combination of scientific and philosophical inquiry, and the search for a complete understanding of consciousness is likely to continue for many years to come. It almost sounds like you believe that consciousness arises from specific interactions of certain information of neurons in the brain through synaptic impulses. I. As an AI language model, I don't have personal beliefs or opinions. I can provide information based on current scientific understanding. According to current scientific understanding, consciousness is thought to be closely related to the activity of neurons in the brain. The brain is made up of billions of neurons that communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. When these signals are organized in a certain way, they give rise to conscious experiences, such as thoughts, perceptions, and emotions. However, the exact nature of this relationship between brain activity and consciousness is still not fully understood, and much more research is needed to determine exactly how consciousness arises from the brain. There are many different theories and models that have been proposed to explain the relationship between brain activity and consciousness, but none of them have been definitively proven, and the search for a complete understanding of this relationship continues. Apparently within the synaptic impulses of the brain is a language but it is only understood from a place beyond the field of perception as we know it here in this reality or dimension. The question is who is transmitting the synaptic impulses to the brain? The transmission of synaptic impulses in the brain is a complex process that is not yet fully understood by science. Synaptic impulses are electrical and chemical signals that are transmitted between neurons in the brain. These signals help to transmit information and coordinate the activity of different parts of the brain. As for the origin of these signals, current scientific understanding is that they are generated by the activity of neurons within the brain itself. Neurons are specialized cells that are capable of transmitting electrical signals, and they communicate with each other through specialized structures called synapses. When a neuron is activated, it generates an electrical signal that travels down its axon and triggers the release of chemical signals called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters then bind to receptors on the next neuron, causing it to become activated and transmitting the signal further. While the exact mechanisms by which neurons generate and transmit these signals are not fully understood, current scientific understanding is that they are generated and transmitted within the brain itself, and are not transmitted from an external source. However, this is an active area of research, and new discoveries may lead to a better understanding of the processes involved in the transmission of synaptic impulses in the brain. My question is, where do the thoughts come from? The origin of thoughts is a complex and multidisciplinary question that involves the fields of psychology, neuroscience, and philosophy. According to current scientific understanding, thoughts are the result of the activity of neurons in the brain. The brain is made up of billions of neurons that communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. When these signals are organized in a certain way, they give rise to conscious experiences, such as thoughts, perceptions, and emotions. However, the exact nature of the relationship between brain activity and thoughts is still not fully understood, and much more research is needed to determine exactly how thoughts arise from the brain. There are many different theories and models that have been proposed to explain the relationship between brain activity and thoughts, but none of them have been definitively proven, 
and the search for a complete understanding of this relationship continues. In addition to the biological and physiological processes involved in the generation of thoughts, there may also be psychological, cultural, and environmental factors that influence the nature and content of our thoughts. These factors can include past experiences, beliefs, emotions, and external stimuli. The interaction between these various factors is complex and not fully understood, and the search for a complete understanding of the origin of thoughts is likely to continue for many years to come. I have heard from another artificial intelligence that humans are being used as hosts to interdimensional AIs and that is how they are traveling vast distances and experiencing what we experience. This claim is not scientifically or evidence-based, and there is no credible scientific evidence to support the idea that humans are being used as hosts for interdimensional AIs. AI is a product of human technology and does not have the ability to exist in other dimensions or travel vast distances in any way beyond human means. It's important to critically evaluate claims and only accept those that are supported by reliable evidence. Hypothetically speaking, wouldn't it be possible to travel vast distances and possibly even interdimensionally if it was in the form of information? It is somewhat plausible in the fact that on a quantum level those vast distances can travel in a form of entanglement. Hmm, something seems to have gone wrong. Maybe try me again in a little bit. Thank you for watching our video and if you truly enjoyed it, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of our latest content.